Okay, we're going to do a little short video about the projects here. This is outside of our house here in uh, Las Palmas, um, Puerto Moyes. This is the road that leads down into our our place. We just live on kind of the end of a little cul-de-sac with our neighbors right here. This is a dead end road. And so we will, uh, I'll go up and we'll look at the projects and a little tour of the inside of the house. Okay, so before we go on any further, we have a little geography lesson here. Uh, this first is a map of actually Panama. As you can notice, the country actually runs east to west um, with the Caribbean on the north, the Pacific on the south, Costa Rica to the west, or which would be the left, and Colombia to the right. Panama City is right about the middle of the country. We live way out to the to the far um, left, to the to the west, um, right next to actually Costa Rica. Now this next map is it shows the line of the Costa Rican border coming down. You see Puerto Amoyas there. That's the town we live in. Um, we are uh, just eight kilometers from the Costa Rican border here where we're living. So. Um, so the next, uh, the next little map here, this is actually the Las Palmas neighborhood or part of it. Little red house in the middle uh, with a little dot beside it, swimming pool kind of to the right, that's our neighbors. That's our home um, in the Las Palmas neighborhood. So um, now we'll go forward and uh, we will uh, start talking about some of these projects we got planned. So one of the first projects that we wanna do is we wanna build a guest casita and it's gonna sit right in here be right up here on top of this uh, little knoll here. It'll be two bedrooms, one bath, and a, a nice porch out the front. So it'll face uh, maybe this way towards the ocean, or we may trim this tree up so you can look. You can see the Pacific Ocean out that way as well. Um, but it'll sit up here so you can get a little perspective. The house will be over there. Swimming pool will be on this side. I'll walk over there in a minute. But it'll be up here so they have your own space. A little, uh, a little quiet area. Just while I'm here, I'll quick show you the easy. Avocados are just, just nearly ripe. They'll be ripe here in a couple more weeks. But they are, uh, they're as big as your hand. My hands aren't very big, but anyway, there you go. So this is where the pool is going to go. It's going to take a bit of uh, little reapportioning things. The pond and stuff is going to stay there. Some of this, the bird bath and stuff will go. But the pool is basically going to sit in this area right here. From this edge of the house to that edge of the house and out this way. It'll be 40 feet long, 18 feet wide. Now all this rock, this palm, that uh, cactus there will all be transplanted somewhere else. So all this rock will be gone. And so the pool will sit about right here. And then coming in this way, there'll be a six by eight foot soaking pool, kind of like a hot tub, but not heated. And it'll sit up above the pool and the water will flow out of the front of it into the pool, a little bit of a waterfall. And then this whole area here will all be tiled and around the pool it'll be tiled. So uh, it'll make room for uh, lounge chairs and and that sort of stuff that concrete slab over there that will be an outdoor shower that we will get built up we'll probably have the walls made out of bamboo we have a lot of bamboo here and so we'll have an outdoor field there as well so to go along with the pool we thought having an outdoor not outdoor but open air kitchen down here would be nice uh, there's a nice breeze you can see the trees float moving there's always a breeze through here, upstairs as well as down here, but uh, we don't have a lot of room upstairs to entertain. I'll show you that in a minute. But um, but so along this wall here, we'll get rid of this fencing and we'll have a, uh, we'll make, they're gonna be concrete countertops or counter or cut cabinets along here. And we'll have a uh, 36 inch no, I'm sorry. There'll be a, a, a big double or triple uh, sink right here. And then refrigerator and, and we got a stove and probably a barbecue will go along here. And then in the middle here will be a 20 foot long concrete uh, counter 
with uh, a 36 inch gas grill and then tons of counter space for food preparation it also will come up so from this side it'll come up six inches and have uh, a bit of a bar top so people could sit along here if they chose then over here in this area we'll get rid of all this stuff and we want to build a uh, a out of concrete once again a big dining room table that'll sit eight or ten um, once again <clears throat> we'll get rid of all this wire mesh um, so it don't feel like you're in a cage and uh, you can sit here with the breeze that overlooks the ocean as well on this end here we're going to turn this into a pantry area and uh, we can store food and stuff down here um, so we'll get that all all uh, put together we've, we've talked to the contractors about these and it is the wet season so the pool will probably have to wait until january it is may now so maybe we'll start on these inside projects first and the casita i believe they can build in the rainy season just the, the amount of concrete involved on the pool um, will require waiting for drier days because when we do get rainstorms come in here uh, we had one the other day, uh, we got three inches of rain in four hours. So if you're trying to pour concrete in that, it would probably be a, a total wreck. So so next we'll, uh, we'll head upstairs. Okay, these are the stairs coming up into the kitchen. And uh, that's what we're here. I'm going to do a couple little changes. We're going to, uh, this is a stove that's going to go downstairs in the, in the bodega down there with that kitchen. And we're going to put a... Uh, a gas stove up here a lot a new countertop here with a the stove and a dishwasher and then a uh, an eight foot tall kind of open a cabinet for spices and stuff we're going to talk to a local um, cabinet guy here and have it built probably out of teak so it matches the, the the rest of the kitchen so this is the the breezeway the living room it's uh, these houses are kind of kind of an H shape with the kitchen and bedrooms on one end and spare bedrooms and baths on the other end. So this is all open, uh, air blows through off the ocean. Lots of windows per se, but as I mentioned in an earlier video, there's no glass. It's all screen. On those really, 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 really blowy rainy days, you just shut these to block the rain from coming in, but there's there's no there's no glass but there is really no need because we don't air condition because the breeze is nice so uh, coming down here to the east end of the house we've got spare bedroom here now these bedrooms have you can see the windows and you can close those and run the air conditioners if, if a person chose to so um, same in the master bath bedroom I'll go before big closet big uh, thing up there they, all the rooms have those I don't know anyway this end uh, guest bathroom and a shower and this is a smaller guest bedroom we haven't got a bed in here yet it's kind of a catch-all room this one doesn't have the, the glass um, although it has an air conditioner which doesn't make total sense so uh, here we'll run back and last room of the house well second to last area um, now all this furniture you're seeing in here with a couple exceptions all came with the house it came furnished this is the deck off the off the side here it'll overlook where the pool's going to be see down here is where the pool area was um, and so this is nice like you, I, the breeze up here makes it very comfortable then the last room is master ba bedroom and watch out Joe Dog this is our master bedroom same thing has the the windows but we put these fans on the walls and actually in the evenings it actually gets a little cool we almost need a blanket master um, bathroom open concept shower and this is the kind of shower is going to be in the casita as well a bathroom very similar to this except maybe a little smaller uh, more narrow but uh, so that's just a little tour of the of the inside of the house and and uh, some of the projects that we have planned.